All right, so now I'm going to show you how I add envelope liners to, to the mock-ups. And um, most of my invitation designs include envelope liners um, in the design package. So I'm always looking for a way to present these in the best way possible to the client so they can see what it's actually going to look like rather than just like a rectangle on the screen of a pattern or something like that. So. The first thing we do is go up to the magnetic lasso tool and if you only have this one selected just click and hold and you can go down to the magnetic lasso tool and then we're going to zoom in to the envelope and I like to start at the gum line and click and then you just move your mouse up that gum line and you may have to click a few times, like up here at the top. And then keep going. And then click once you get to the end of that line. And then keep it straight. And then follow this line all the way around. It is a slow process, but it's worth it, I promise. And then we're gonna do, I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me, but we're gonna do similar to what we did on the other side over here. Try to get it centered. Um, click, click, and then all the way up. And you see here it's not perfect, but that's okay, I'm gonna fix it later. Um, so now you've got this section of the envelope selected and what we're going to do is create a new layer with that selection. So we go up here to layer, new, layer via copy. Okay, that's alright. I did that on the invitation layer rather than the background, so that's okay. Don't have to do it again. Go up to the layer, new, layer via copy. And as you can see, now you just have this section of the envelope selected. Now what we're going to do is place our liner file. So we're going to come up to file, and we're going to do another linked file. So if we make changes in the Illustrator document, we can automatically um, make those changes in Photoshop at the same time. Uh, so place linked. Go over and choose your file. Select your trim box again. This one is not as important. Um, you can do art box if you want to or bleed box. It, it doesn't really matter since we're only using the shape of the envelope. Um, but I always do trim box, it's just a habit. So click OK. And then, similar to what we did with the invitation, we're going to need to resize it a little bit so it's a little more accurate. So let's kind of resize it to the size of the envelope. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to move it up so we make sure to cover that flap. Okay, so get it where you want it to be um, on the envelope and press enter or return on your keyboard to place it. So obviously this is not what we want our mock-up to look like and this is not in the shape of an envelope. So what we're going to do to fix that is come over here to our layers panel and we're going to hover our cursor over um, in between our liner file and the envelope shape that we created with the new layer. And then I believe on a PC it's Alt, but on your keyboard you're going to hold Alt or Option on a Mac until you see the, um, the icon change. And that's what you want to see. And then you're going to click and that creates a layer mask. Um, and that is what makes it the shape of the envelope. Um, so with like a white envelope, which is what I used for this invitation suite, I would probably do the multiply again. But as you can see, it turns a, a bit.
bit brown um, in this particular mock-up, but usually I would do the same multiply technique to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to keep it like this. And let's go back to where when we created this. If you have lines that, that you want to straighten up or anything, um, like up here, there's a little dip right here. You can use like your eraser tool or your stamp tool. And what I'm going to do is click, go back to our layer that we created with the shape. Um, make sure you're on that layer. And I'm going to use the stamp tool to, sorry, yeah, to straighten it out. And what that layer mask is going to do is just going to keep following um, the file. So you don't have to worry about duplicating that over here if that makes sense. Um, just use the stamp tool on that envelope shape file. And then uh, round that out just a little bit. Straighten it up. It's not a huge deal, but I mean, it's the little details that our clients really appreciate, I think. So just making it a little straighter adds that little extra attention to detail um, and it will show in your proof. So moving on to the next one, which is going to be how we change the color of these envelopes.